Hello class. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Juan Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks, and you? I'm good. I'm I'm very good. Yeah. Um how how have you been? How how is how was your day today? Uh, it's normally I work uh, so in, in middle day. Uh, we we went to celebrate birthday of my boy and we we were in uh, um, a Kentucky and yeah just that sorry I didn't understand very well you 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 did what I didn't hear you very well sorry that I didn't hear you very well what did you do um I, I I went to Kentucky. You mean Kentucky Fried Chicken? In the lunch. At the lunch. You, you mean um, Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought Kentucky, like the 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 state in 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 the United States. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Okay. Uh, in, in Plaza Mundo. Oh, you went to Plaza Mundo. Yes, yes. Um, I I went with my my cowboy cowboy uh, to celebrate the uh, uh, birthday with with one. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. All right, so you had a good day today. Yes, yes, I did. Good, good, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, excellent. And how about everybody else? How was your day? Welcome, everybody. Hi, class, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm very well. Thank you. Uh, I was working today, and that's a blessing. You you were working today. Yes. Good, good, good. We're um, but you you always work, um, Glenda. Yes, I I I working today. It's temporal job. Estoy cubriendo a alguien. I'm... Oh, you're covering for somebody. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, like internato. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, good. Uh -huh. good. A short, a short days. Um, oh, okay. 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 Good. And how many days? Uh, I don't know, maybe one month. Okay, that's going to be nice to be, yeah. um, to be there for, for a month, right? Had you done that, that job before or is it the first time? Uh, no, I have a job before. Mm -hmm. But oh. also it's temporary because I don't have a that's a the government. I don't have. Oh, I'm, I'm a, okay. a preschool you... teacher, but uh, there are many, many teachers uh, that have have study this career. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. So there, there is. Uh, there are not many um, 
uh, job positions o open for, you know, for the government, right? Yes. <laughs> but you know that mm -hmm. work with the private school is you earn a few money. <laughs> And I don't it's like much. to. Uh -huh. I don't like to win a uh, few money. <laughs> yeah, little, little money. Uh -huh. a little money. Yeah, because uh -huh. money, Thank money you. is uncountable. So, uh -huh. so that's why you say little. Mm -hmm. Little money. Okay. Uh huh. And I prefer. Or things not about my profession for earn more money. I right, love the kids and I love the job, but many times it's not possible to job there in a good school. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand. Yeah, and you're right. Um, you know, of course, if you, if you study for something, it's obviously that you're going to want to have, you know, something that, that it's going to pay you that you know at least for the amount that you invested right so yes i i totally understand glenda yeah that's good well one day one day you will get that that job position from the government so just just yeah, hang in there, really. hang in there. <laughs> okay thank you okay guys well um i'm glad to see everybody uh well not everybody because i think not everybody has connected but the majority of you so um, what I'm going to ask you to do, I asked you to, for homework, to um, complete uh, the, or better said, to answer some questions. Um, everybody did the homework, I'm hoping. Yes, teacher, I did. Yes, teacher. Yes, I did it too. Yes, teacher, I did it. Excellent. Was it very difficult or was it easy or was it, you know, okay. It was very easy, teacher. So, so. For me, it's very difficult for the time because I work a lot and I need to move other departmentals. And when I finish my, my work, I... I start the other with my children. I have it's only 30 minutes for the, do my homework. It's very hard because uh, my kid, my born, everything is very, very difficult. I, I understand, Jenny. Um, I, I totally understand uh, mm -hmm. from the point of view of a mother. I, I totally understand how, you know, a mother that works, you know, outside of the house and everything. I, I totally understand. Well, I'm not working outside the house, but still, I work. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, so I, I understand. It's very hard. But what I can guarantee, Jenny, that all of the effort that you make will pay off at the end, right? So in life, we have to make sacrifices. In life, there are things that we don't want to do or that are difficult to do. Um, you know, but in the end, it works out. In the end, it, it's worth all of that sacrifice. So I promise you, um, Jenny, that you know you will. You, it, it will it will work out at the end, right? So, um, and I really appreciate that that um, dedication that you put into it. So I and yeah, I really do appreciate that. And, and that goes for everybody. I understand that you are very busy people. You know, everybody here has a different um, situation, a different schedule, and it's not easy. And I, and I do appreciate that you put some time into that and, you know, try to do your best. And that's good. Um, okay. So it, with the, with, with the, um, what's it called? Um, I forgot the name, the exercises, the questions. With the questions that I asked you to do, um, you were, what I needed you to do was to um, answer the questions, just a yes or no. And well, not just yes or no, actually. It's, I'm, I'm lying about that. It's actually more about yes I, yes, I have or no, I haven't, right? 
and if you said yes I have then you can add more details right so um, if if you say no I have it well okay that's it that's the end of the discussion you can't give more information but if you say yes I have then in that case um, you would you would um, answer like go or go ahead and, and ask more more questions there um, okay so to answer more questions uh, and um, give more information about it like for example you can say um, yes I, I you know I I have done this and you know I did it last year because blah 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 okay whatever right okay so what I want you to do right now we're gonna be working in, in pairs um, sorry no 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 we're gonna work in, in I think in groups it's better if we work in groups let's work in groups and what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell your partner you're gonna be sharing with your partner your sentences so you're gonna be asking your partner the questions your partner's gonna answer and if they say yes they're gonna give more and more answers um, like more details but I also I don't want you just to limit yourself to saying oh okay great like ask more questions so if your partner tells you information about when they did it ask some questions about for example did they like it who they did it with um, what was it like etc etc does that make sense for everybody do we understand what we're going to be doing yes teacher. Hi, teacher yes teacher yes teacher but i have a question teacher yeah yes uh, when i use i never no i never it's not necessary use how no i never have or i only use no i never this is this is my dad no you would say no uh no never simply no never simply or I never. no i haven't no i never or no never um if you're going to say um if you're going to be using the have with the never i would say no i have never okay thank you teacher you're welcome anything else any other questions that you have before i put you into your the the groups no question teacher okay so everybody's clear what you're going to be doing right okay i'm going to right now divide you um let's see we're gonna divide you into um groups let's see okay and i'm creating the groups right now and i'm opening the groups go ahead and join the groups that um go ahead and join the groups Maximiliano and Godofredo, do you have any questions, any problems joining the groups? Maximiliano, Godofredo, any questions? Similiano, can you hear me? Godofredo, can you hear me? Maximiliano, Godofredo, can I help you with something? Hi guys, can you hear me? 
so I can help you with something. Why? Me too, I haven't. Uh, I always see me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Maximiliano? Maximiliano. <laughs> no está. Okay, no. <laughs> and the hello, other question. Hello. 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 Can hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm gonna try the first for Patricia Campos, okay? Have you ever had to dial 911? No, I haven't. No, it's, okay. Remember, it's dial, dial. Dial. Dial, okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher, dial. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. And a... Uh, Okay, Carlos. second okay. one. Another, another. I wait. Maximilian. Okay. Hello? Have, have you ever faint, faint in a public place? For me? Yeah. Yes, uh, I have mm -hmm. ever. Oh, yes, I have ever fainted in a public place. Okay, um, when you answer, don't say the word ever. Just say, uh -huh. yes, I have fainted in a public place. Oh, yes, yeah. Ever. Okay. Okay? That's, that's, that's wrong good. with me. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. Thank you. Where Teacher, you uh, I have a question, teacher. Yeah, tell me. If uh, this, this word, uh, faint, uh, is uh, desmayarse. Correct. Ah, okay. Okay. Where do you say, Maximilian? Ah, in a. Oh, let me see. In a. In a play. Play. Play in table tennis. Yeah. For the. Okay. For Try. The very, very good. For, in Maximilian, you can give. Um, complete sentences used in the simple past, right? So, oh, I, I fainted in a blah, 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 right? So trying to use simple past. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, You're I welcome. fainted in a, in a, in Indus as we. It's okay? That's perfect. Thank you. I love the song. Uh -huh. Demonstration, Glenda. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, who is next? Just came out and uh, you told us what to tell us uh, about you sang in the church. Yes. Uh, which church? Uh, it's a it's a big it's a a big church it's a big church but it's a gospel music the gospel, gospel, gospel uh, mm -hmm. yes. my mother I don't know your mother no, no. Uh, which which ah. is the religious, the religion. Ah, okay. I'm trying to speak. Please correct me. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. Problem. We are learning more. No problem. Yes. We need to practice a lot. Yeah. I told you the place and I told you the song. <laughs> we are improving a, a, a little. Okay. A yes. lot, I would say. Tell us, tell us a song and a place, what, 
kind of church. <laughs> Imagine. And who is next? Who is to ask the questions? Okay, I have a question. Okay. Uh, ha, uh, have you ever lived in a foreign country? Foreign country? No, I haven't. But did, I would like. Sorry, girls. I just question. Did you did you already answer the questions from from the 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 questions I I, I sent you? Did you answer those questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, you already discussed it. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Continue okay. then. No, forget. Forget what I. Continue, no worries. Mm -hmm. I live in a country yes. for 28. Mm -hmm. What is the most exciting thing you have ever known? What is the best and worst restaurant you have eaten at? I, I went to I went to the Ruth Chris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No problem, no problem. Uh, I went to Ruth Chris restaurant. It's, it's the best food I ate in my life. <laughs> the <laughs> meat, really, really, really good. <laughs> Sorry. If you okay. wait, you'll get some water. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody, it happens to me too. Okay. okay. Next question. Hey, have you ever been to Mexico or? No, I have never been in Mexico. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, um, Josabeth, uh, have you ever uh, forgotten an important birthday? I also forgot uh, my mom's birthday. When almost always forgot. Okay. <laughs> Your mom' birthday is in February. Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> she never forget my birthday too. This is terrible. I have trouble remembering things. <laughs> it's really trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Jenny, have you ever had pistachio ice cream? Yes, I have. I I like the pistachio ice cream. Okay. Flor, have you ever fallen out of a tree? Eh. Can you repeat me, please? <laughs> Have you ever fallen out of a tree? Uh, no, I have never. Um, Jenny, have you ever eaten anything really strange? strange? Yes. In Peru, I went to Peru, Cusco, and I a rata. Pero no me okay. Con okay. <laughs> and you? No, I haven't. I don't remember travel without paying my ticket. <laughs> so, but, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Okay. And, um, the other one? Have you ever sung in public? Uh, yes, I have. 
sometimes mm. in, in my in my church at the church. Oh. Yes. And, and also when I'm playing piano, I have to sing too, so. And play the piano. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was difficult for you? Mm, no, because um, I usually do that, so it's not uh, difficult, I think. How do people say that the person that plays the piano are very are very smart? Well, I don't know, but <laughs> maybe. Maybe you? What about you? No, no. Uh, just I think when I was in the college. Okay. My teacher puso una actividad okay. de canto. And you have to uh, sing. Yes, just sing because I I can play the random any instrument. Okay, I understand. And I think that is the last question. Yes. And uh, what kind of instrument do you want to learn? Piano, violin, <gasps> and guitar. I would like to play violin. It's, it's so interesting. Yes, it's a beautiful. And it's difficult too. Yeah, I think. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is is difficult piano like a uh, violin? Well, I think they think they are not I don't know. <laughs> well, but I I would like to play. Yeah. And learn to play violin. Me the too. sound of the violin is so beautiful. More to sing. Sorry? Más para cantar y tocar y todo eso. Yeah. Um, it's possible to sing and play the violin at the same time? No. Um, you play the other person thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because when you are playing the violin, you have to put the violin uh, on your shoulders, right? Yeah, and then you can. Uh, a menos que sea por pequeños lapsos de tiempo. Um, oh. Yes. Not not al menos que unless. <laughs> sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, don't say I'm sorry. I'm trying. And, and, and make the sentence in English. Don't worry. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So. <laughs> Go ahead. No, continue. Forget that I'm here. Um, <laughs> ignore me. <laughs> we were uh, speaking about the instrument. Yeah. I told her that I I am learning to play piano, but I would like to play. I would like to learn to play violin, but. I think that violin a little bit more complicated than play piano, but I don't know. Could be. It could be, yeah. That's that is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll see you girls in the main room in a moment. Okay.
Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think we have the majority of people here. Um, so, um, what did you? How did you feel with this exercise? Were you able to work more with your um, classmates and practice uh, your English? Was that? Were, were you able to to do a lot of speaking? Uh, it was good. Yes, teacher, we practice, we, we practice a lot. Yes, our group is was a, a practice for all, our, all of us. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And that's actually what we're, that, that's the idea, right? To practice, 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 and try to get more practice every time. So what I'm gonna do is the following. I'm gonna get you again to work in, in pairs. This time I'm gonna get you to work in pairs and not in groups. And what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm going to send you through the, what's, um, through the WhatsApp, I'm gonna send you a few more questions. And you're just going to be asking and answering these questions with your partner, okay? Um, so very quick, it's gonna be just with your partner so one with just um, the two of you, so it should be a little bit um, faster um, talking because I know that in when you are with um, with a, what's it called um, when you are with um, a group, it takes a little bit longer, right? So I'm going to get you just to work with a partner, okay? So I'm opening up the groups right now, and I'm sending through WhatsApp right now. I'm I've sent the, the questions. Um, everybody should be able to see them. Okay. And there you go. You can go ahead and ask and answer these questions. All right, here we go. Maximiliano, are you having any problems joining?
Maximiliano, any problems joining? Godofredo and Maximiliano, do you have any problems? Um, well, I haven't seen a sunset yet, so I will ask, ask you the question because I haven't seen a sunset. So were you alone or with someone special? Um, with something special. I don't, I don't like to be alone. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> it was it was so romantic, romantic. I think. Okay, that that's very good. Just qu just make sure that you answer complete answers with, uh, for example, you you're not going to say with someone special. You're going to say I was with someone special. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. And you. Uh, third, have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Um. Yes, I have. I have been a guest. Um. I think when I was a child. Um. Maybe all, all all the people has been a guest. <laughs> uh, <Me too. laughs> but to my highest friends or friends, como se dice eso? El, en la fiesta de mi amigo. In my friends' party. I can't use it. And we and maybe five or six <laughs> next. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am long. Oh, she left. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> because I can I can see the the WhatsApp because my phone it it all. Your phone is what? Yes, I I I can I can change the 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 app. To WhatsApp, the Zoom was closed, so I I I don't practice with 
with these uh, sentences. I don't understand. Uh, can you explain it again? Uh, my my phone. Uh, I I can I can close. I can open WhatsApp. See your mesh message. You you can open WhatsApp. I can't. You can't. Yes. Oh, I cannot. You close your account for what for WhatsApp. I can not see the WhatsApp. My WhatsApp. Mm hmm. I see. Yes. But I was sharing the screen. Uh, let's go for the third question. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. In, in my birthday, when was my birthday, uh, my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, probably he he could killing me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, do they? Okay. <laughs> uh, mm, old question? Yes, and uh, it's now to Elizabeth ask us. Okay, um, Jenny, have you have you ever have you ever broken a, a bone? Yes, yes, I I broken my a bone eh, when mm -hmm. I yes, was I have broken a bone. Yes, I have yeah. teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I had a broken a bone when I was teenager. When I, when I was a teenager, was a teenager. Exactly. Yes. Remember to always put the verbs uh, in, in when you're giving the details. Mm -hmm. You have to put the verbs in the simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just Nancy. Okay, Nancy. Um, have you have you have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have, and I love it. Where 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 do you where do you see? Uh, I see uh in a beach. On, on a beach. On the beach, I guess. I think in the beach. On, I think in the beach. At the beach. At the beach. On the beach. On the beach. Both of them. At the beach are is. Possible. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yes. I have worked with someone. Let me see. In 2010, okay, I broke with with some people, with, with some person. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Let me see. The time is over. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. The time <laughs> no. is over. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a uh, we can see everyone for the time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Another and question. Have you ever been, I guess, at a surprise party? And no, I haven't guessed at a surprise party. That's okay. it, right? Okay. Yes. Have you ever, I, I don't know how do you say, a pressure, I don't know how, no sé cómo se pronuncia. A pressure, I don't know, a sunset. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. I think with ED sound like T, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Sí. Appreciate uh, it. A sí. sunset where you are alone or with someone special? Okay. 
I I don't have appreciated a something and alone or with something special. Not yet. Not yet. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. And you, have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I I have I have appreciate appre <laughs> me traba la lengua. Appreciate no sé cómo se dice. Appreciate a sunset ¿Sí? with my with my with my boyfriend. Excellent. To the beach. Okay, good. Um, the the pronunciation is good. You just have to put the stress in the correct place. It's not appreciated. It's appreciated. Appreciated. It's on the second syllable. Appreciated. It's appreciated. Appreciated. With the stress in the second song. Appreciated. The stress is on the second syllable. Correct. Appreciate. Uh -huh. Como es? Appreciated. Appreciate. Appreciate. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. And Patricia, come, have you have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? No, I haven't. I haven't too. Have you ever called with your boyfriend? Sorry? I haven't either. I haven't either. I haven't either. Tampoco yo. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, I haven't either. Okay. And me, I have. Okay, class, um, I think I have the majority of everybody here. Great. Okay, so just a little bit more of a practice there, a chance to be able to um, practice a little bit with um, our, uh, you know, questions for experiences. And um, just remember just a little bit of a reminder that when you're giving details, the, sen the sentence has to be in the simple past. So you, ma you must use this, the verbs in the simple past, okay? And and get into the habit of answering complete sentences because, for example, some pe sometimes people said, like, um, oh, who did you see the sun with? So I said, like, uh, were you alone or with someone special? And then they would just answer, oh, I was alone. Or, sorry, alone, just alone. And what we want to do is practice using the simple past. So I, I was alone or I was with someone special, right? So try to, to always um, uh, use the simple past, okay? All right, guys, we have a few minutes left of this class, and in, this, in the last uh, few minutes of the class, I want to actually have the opportunity of showing, us, uh, showing you the last topic of section number four. And the last section, the sex, blech, sorry, the last topic of section number four is um is a topic it's actually a very straightforward topic it's in a, and um we're actually going to be doing something very fun with it and the topic is um sequence sequence oh hold on give me a moment let me put this in bold to make it nice and easier okay so sequence of events see of events. So when we have an event that is going on, uh, we normally say that 
something comes first, then the next thing, then the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. The next thing. But in order to show how, what is the order or the sequence, you know, you understand the word sequence, right? Very similar to Spanish, right? So this, in order to understand the sequence of something, we need to use words that will help us understand it. And this is actually something that is very, um, well, it, it's, it helps us to be able to make the, um, the sentence flow, like the ideas kind of flow it's easy to follow what happened right and some of the words that we use are first okay, uh, then next after that um, after that and Hi. finally so those are words that we can use with sequence events, right? So we say first, blah, 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 blah. Um, second, sorry, then, blah, 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 blah. Um, next, blah, blah, blah. After that, blah, blah, blah. Take in consideration that um, the word after, you don't say just after. It's after that. So we can't just say after, blah, 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 blah. No, we have to say after that. Okay, it's like in Spanish, you say después de eso. Okay, so we have to use after that. Now, um, make sure you understand that first is um, is used at the beginning of the sequence. Okay, we always use this at the beginning of the sequence, and finally is used the at the end of the sequence okay so uh, you're always going to start with first and at, at the at the end of the sequence you're going to use the word finally okay so keep that in mind now the other thing is that with these three these three are interchangeable so you can decide it doesn't have to be in this order you don't have to say then and then next and then after that you, you don't you don't have to use that particular order you can do it in any order you want um and somebody's asking if it's something like preposition and the answer is um no not they're not actually prepositions no um prepositions are words like in on after etc in on um above Low, etc., etc. These are not. These are actually. Th these are actually adverbs. They tell us when something happens, right? Okay. Um, all right. So, like I said, then, next, and after that, does, they do not have to be in that particular order. You can decide to put after that in the second position, or you can use next in the third pos in the third position. It doesn't matter. Okay. You can use this one interchangeably. Okay. And this actually works very well when you're giving, um, you're talking about a recipe. So when we're giving a recipe, when we're um, talking about how to make something, then it's very easy to use this. Um, for example, if you have a, um, if you're making um, a a recipe, we're going to be using, for example, uh, you can say first. Um, we can use words like. Um, Slice. Okay. Um, slice, blah, blah, blah. Slice is rodeo de hat. My Spanish is horrible. Um, roda hat. Right? Is that correct? Roda hat? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. And um, so first, slice, blah, blah, blah. blah. Right or um, yeah. right. So, uh, or put. Nombre, para mandarte el paciente, pero este cincuenta. Or or put, for example, um, it could also be put, blah 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 blah. Right. I said add is agregar or put, poner, right? And um, then you say, for example, next, you can say uh, mix. 
blah 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 all right our mix is miss glad right okay and then we can say after that we can say um after that a uh, spread okay the blah, blah 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 spread is like um a uh, what's it called um como regar or uh -huh, or yeah regar or Oh, juntar, juntar, no. Juntar, mm -hmm. regar, juntar. And then finally, right, we can say finally, and we can say, for example, um, fry. Fry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fry is freír, right? Okay, et cetera, et cetera. So there are other vocabulary words that um, can be very helpful for you. I'll just quickly give you some of the vocabulary words that you can use. Um, like in a recipe, you might want to use words like smash, sorry, mash, mash is like, um, como, um, machacar, right? Or teaspoon, teaspoon is, um, una, what do you call that, teaspoon? Um, cucharada, cucharada, cucharadita, teaspoon, cucharadita. And then the other one is tablespoon, which is cucharada. Cucharada. Table, that's, the, that's the tablespoon. Okay. And then we have words like, um, eh, for example, um, what was another one I wanted to show you? Um, toast. Right? Toast. Tostar. Toast. Toast. Yeah. Bake, teacher. Bake, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, sorry. Bake, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's just some of the things that um, that uh, could help you when you're talking about the uh, sequence of events for recipes. So remember, first is always going to be at the beginning, finally is going to be at the end, and these ones you can use in any order that you want. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a particular order. All right? So what we're going to do for tomorrow, you're going to be presenting a recipe to the class. Okay? So that's going to be your homework. You're going to um, you're going to talk about the ingredients that you need for the recipe, and you're going to tell us how to make it. You don't. Have, it doesn't have to be very complicated. Um, and I want you to use this first, then next, after that, finally, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. And um, you know, use out. Oh, one more important thing that I forgot to mention: when we are making recipes, if you notice, we're going to put the verb in the in the in the base form. So this is what we call the imperative. So the verb is not going to say, it's not going to say mixes or adding or sliced. No, it's going to be in the base form. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yes, sure. Okay. Yes, so that's going to be that's going to be our homework for tonight. For tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to be presenting your recipes to the class. Okay, I'm going to present it to everybody in the class, okay? So be prepared. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the WhatsApp group, okay? So that will be all for today, guys. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you a lot. Take care, dear. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, too. Bye-bye, Tisha. Thank you. Bye.